Hey guys, hey girls, hey boys. If you're new to my channel, my name is Madi, also known as Mari Bajari here on YouTube. Hello, welcome to my channel. So for today's video, I'll be showing you guys my nighttime skincare routine from the cleanser to the moisturizer to the deep sleeping mask to the serums, all that good stuff. So if you guys are interested to see what type of skincare routine I do at night, then I suggest you keep on watching. But before you start this video, make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on your post notification bell so you're notified every single time your girl posts. Without further ado, let's get right into today's video. <laughs> So before we get into any type of skincare, we're going to want to put the hair out of the face. So I just have these cute little clips that I use to clip back the hair like so. Okay, so my nighttime skincare routine is kind of heavier than my morning skincare routine. I will get to that type of skincare in another video. So basically at night, I like to make sure I have a very heavy duty moisturized um, routine so that in the morning before I apply makeup um, my skin is just very hydrated so the first thing I would usually do is take my makeup off but today I actually did not wear any makeup um, so I'm not going to be removing my makeup usually I would go in with a makeup wipe or I would go in with a cleansing balm but no makeup is on today, but we still want to do a face wash, obviously. So the first step I will be doing is basically going in and washing my face. So the cleanser I'll be using is the Fenty Skin um, Total Cleanser. I love this stuff. It has lasted me so long because of how big this bottle is. And a little goes a long way, and it's also very calming and um, not too heavy on the skin. So I'm going to be using this cleanser. And sometimes I'll just go ahead and wash it with my hands, but I also have a... Um, cleansing brush this is by vanity planet and i like to use the silicone um bristle or the silicone head whatever you want to call it so that's what i'll be doing usually i'll be doing this in the shower but obviously i'm filming this video for you guys so i'll be right here wash your hands first and then first start off by wetting the skin so i do have lash extensions and i do have a way of cleansing them so if you guys would like to see how i um wash my lash extensions i will have that video linked down below so anyways going into the cleanser i'm going to apply literally like a dot like this on my hand and put it onto the face like so i like to rub it in with my hands first and then go in with my face brush Alright, so after I use the brush, I go back in and rinse that off. So I know it looks like the um, face wash kind of went away, but it's there, I promise you. After my face is washed, I go in and dry my face with my towel. So now that my face is all washed and clean, this next step I'm about to do, I don't do it every single night. I try to do it at least once a week. Um, sometimes I get too lazy and I just don't pull it out but i love the way this makes my skin feels this is a facial steamer you guys this makes my skin just feel so good um it's basically a steamer so it's like hot mist um blowing into your face that kind of opens up the pores and cleans out all that gunk in there so this is what i'll be doing next i got mine from amazon so i'll have it linked down below i feel like it's just the perfect size and it's pink super cute so i'm turning it on and it kind of just has to heat up a little bit so wait for that i drink some water i'm gonna brush my lashes out while we wait for that um i actually have not used my steamer with my lashes so i wonder if it's gonna make them wet So I pretty much just keep my face over it. It is kind of hot, so I like to move it around like this. Because it, because if you stay in one spot like this, um, you won't be able to breathe and it just gets really hot. And that won't be comfortable. So I just like to move it around, move my face around. Oh, that's so relaxing. So I pretty much just wait until I finish up the whole amount of water. It comes in this little cup, like a measuring cup. So it's not much, but it's enough to basically get into the skin. Do you see how it's like very dewy right now? So I just love the way it makes my skin feel so 
good. All right, so now that that's done, um, I'm gonna get into all of the skincare products. So I like to start off with my Fenty Skin Fat Water, which helps um, with reducing your pores. So I just put a little bit on my finger like so, and then I focus it on this area right here because I feel like my pores are pretty large, like on my nose and, sorry, I'm looking at a mirror, and on like my cheek area. So I just take that fat water and massage it into this area right here and also on my chin. Now for the next step, I like to go in with my Ulla Henriksen um, Truth Serum. So this is another facial serum that I love. It is collagen boosted and it just smells really good, like a very um, citrusy scent. So I just like to apply the serum all over the face and down the neck. And then up the neck. I kind of just like to pat it in. Okay, so this next product is my A Plus High Dose Retinoid Serum. So this stuff is pretty pricey, but it is very good to incorporate into your skincare routine. So this helps with aging. I know I'm still young, but obviously start now when you can, if you, why not? And also helps with, I believe, like UV damaged skin. Um, I don't really have damaged skin, but I notice when I'm in the sun, I start to get dark in this area. And around like here, um, when I came back from Hawaii, my skin was a lot darker than usual. That always happens to me, no matter what, even if I have sunblock on. And it actually runs in my family too. My grandma and my mom both get dark spots so I'm trying my very best to like fight it and make sure like I don't get really dark spots even though I'm kind of starting to get it already I've been trying to avoid it it just happened so I wanted to incorporate this into my skincare routine so far so good um, I'm going to pretty much just put a dot on it and rub it throughout the whole face This definitely gives my skin a very dewy look. I love it. After that step, I like to go in with a eye cream. This is my go-to eye cream. This is probably like my fifth or fourth, fourth or fifth container. This is the Ulla Henriksen Banana Bright Eye Cream. I literally cannot live without eye cream in my skincare routine or just in general. Like, you need eye cream in your life. So I just apply it under my eyes like so. And then begin to rub it out. And then I put a little bit on my eyelids, mostly like under my eyebrows, because I feel like sometimes I get dry under there. So I want to make sure it's hydrated so then the next morning when I go in with my eyebrow product, it's not like crusty, you know. Okay, so for the next step, I'm going to go in with a kind of like heavy-weighted moisturizer. This is the Summer Fridays Jet Lag Mask. So I know it says it's a mask, but it works as like a overnight mask, so it applies like a moisturizer. So I do not use this every single night, but on the days that I feel like I want extra moisture, I will go in with this um, Summer Fridays Jet Lag Mask. But other than that, my go-to moisturizer at night is Ulla Henriksen Sea Rush Brightening Gel Cream. This stuff is another um, heavy one, but it's not as heavy as the Jet Lag Mask. This one is meant to be on all night pretty much just to soak into the skin and this one is just a very good moisturizer i love this moisturizer so much whether it's at night or during the day um this gives you a very pretty glow but i feel like my skin has been kind of dry recently i think it might be because of the weather not too sure but i'm gonna go ahead and go in with my summer fridays jet lag mask and again just apply it with my fingers so literally that's all you need it's pretty um thick so a little goes a long way and down the neck as well because you want to keep your neck looking healthy too not just your face you're literally going to be looking like a boiled egg after this you know like when you peel a boiled egg and it's just very shiny you're going to look like that all right so on to the very last step i kind of just like to go in with a like a skincare setting spray. Honestly, it's kind of just feels like water to me. Um, I got this in a Ipsy um, bag or like an event I went to, so I don't really know what it does. I just kind of like it to set everything in. Um, this is the Adaptogen Soothe Hydrate Activated Mist. Um, it has a lot of products in here that I really don't know, um, but it's by Youth to the People, so I'm gonna spray this onto the face. Or even like if you have a... Um, glow toner that'll work too but oh my gosh you guys see how hydrated and nice my skin is looking and i'm just gonna end it with 
some lip balm. So this is the Laneige um, Lip Sleeping Mask. This is literally my go-to. You wanna make sure your lips are as moisturized as your face. Okay, so one more thing after my um, products are all on my face. Sometimes I like to go in with this jade roller if I'm just chilling and watching some Netflix, just in my room, whatever. I'll go in with this jade roller and kind of just roll it under the eyes because it feels so good. So if your skin is looking a little puffy or you just want to like massage your face, highly recommend one of these. Um, I would say to get it off Amazon, they're very inexpensive. Um, when I first got mine, I found it somewhere else and I kind of paid overpriced because it was just like the hot new item, you know, but they're a lot cheaper now. So I highly recommend to get one of these. They're very relaxing or even if sometimes I have a headache, I'll go in with this jade roller and kind of just roll it in the areas that I have a headache. This has a number of uses, so I would recommend one of these. Perfect for a Christmas gift too, actually. So yeah, I'll just go in and roll under my eyes or I'll take the other side and kind of roll that double chin out you know like bye mm -hmm. bye 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 so yeah guys that pretty much concludes my nighttime skincare routine um there's kind of a lot more steps that i do at night um than i usually would in the morning so definitely leave a comment down below if you want to see my morning skincare routine it's a lot quicker just to hurry up and get out the door you know so let me know if you guys want to see that but yeah that is all for today's video i hope you guys enjoyed it don't forget to give a thumbs up comment down below what you like in the future please subscribe stay blooming happy holidays and i'll see you in my next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.